Welcome to the Idiot's Guide. I'm Mackie Hall, and today we're going to be talking about animating with Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Animate. For those of you who don't know, Adobe Animate is a powerhouse application designed for building interactive animations for video, games, and the web. With it, you can bring animation and banner ads to life, create avatars, and create animated and interactive infographics. You can also publish to multiple platforms on just about any format. That includes everything from an animated GIF to a high-end video format. Combine this with Adobe Illustrator, and you've got easy access to be truly creative. For this eight-part beginner tutorial, we're going to learn how to create this simple web tutorial using Illustrator and Animate. Here are the steps. Part one, let's get started. Building Illustrator art, file setup, and importing. Part two, create a looping animated symbol. Part three, using motion tweens for basic animation. Part four, adding stop actions. Part five, creating buttons and button-based actions. Part six, advanced buttons, basic button hover animation, and linking to outside URLs. Part seven, publishing options for your web ad. Part eight, importing into an adaptive web page. This is part eight, importing into an adaptive web page. And a quick note, if you're coming in at one of the latter stages of the tutorial, be sure you start at step one. That's always going to be the most helpful, and that'll get you on the path to creativity the fastest. For this piece, we're offering an Illustrator file down below or in your Canvas page to get started. Let's go. As you know, we have completed publishing our We Ask That You Mask web animation. So what's next from here? We've published the piece. Now let's see if we can first get it online and second, what our publishing recommendations would be to a client or to a web developer. We can use any web editing application to do that or we can even use a simple application like Notepad. For these purposes, let's jump into Adobe Dreamweaver. All right, now that we are in Adobe Dreamweaver, note that if we look under our local files, we can see our export directory. Again, it is named Animate Test. Let's go ahead and open up Animate Test to see our files and folders. Notice that we've got the images directory that contains any images or artwork that we wanted to export. In this case, the only image that we wanted to export was our preloader GIF. That will display as our file is loading. Again, that's very helpful when the user has slow connection speeds. Next, We've got our two files. The first file is animate underscore final dot HTML, and we've got animate underscore final dot JS. Our dot JS file, that is our JavaScript file. That's the underlying code of our piece. And then animate underscore final dot HTML, that is our HTML markup. That's the file that we will be referencing when we open up the file remotely. Let's go ahead and take our next step and move our file to our remote server. In this case, our remote server is the commercelane.com website. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Note that I'll select my parent file, animate test, and we'll drag it over to our www root folder. Once our file's been uploaded, all we need to do is open up our web browser to preview. All right, our file looks pretty good on initial setup. First of all, note our website, commercelane.com. Note our parent directory, animate test. And then notice our file name. Again, animate underscore final dot HTML. Each of those pieces is separated by a forward slash. Let's go ahead and test our file out. Click here, we'll jump on over to our third panel. We'll select close. We'll go back to our second panel. Let's click here again. And we'll select visit CDC website. Note that cdc.gov opens up cleanly in a new window as specified. Let's go ahead and close that. Looks pretty good. All right, so now that we've tested our file out on a remote server and have verified that our file is perfectly functional, let's dig in 
to our animate underscore final dot HTML file. This is the file where we'd give our web developer instructions on how to modify or manage our piece. First thing worth noting is note the comments. It starts with less than exclamation point dash dash and ends with a dash dash greater than. You can see it in lines two through nine. These offer some of the instructions for our web developer. First, note that all tokens are represented by a dollar sign in the template. Don't need to worry about that generally. But number two, you notice that it says you can write your code only wherever mentioned. Note our comment on line 15 where it says, write your web code here. These are some of the things we'd copy. First of all, we'd copy the style sheet on over to our web page. We'd copy our JavaScript link right there. And of course, we would copy the script source name right there. Next, we would ask our web developer to copy all of the script elements. Let's scroll down deeper into our page. And we would ask them to copy everything to the bottom of the head. Again, right down underneath, write your code here. We'd ask our web developer in this case to copy everything I've highlighted and selected. I'll move up to the top again, and they can copy that into their web page. Next, we would ask our web developer, and let's keep this simple, to copy our onload statement. All we'd need to do is request that they copy that piece right there. And next, and finally, all we would need them to do would be to copy our animation div into wherever they wanted to copy their piece. So we would ask them to copy these elements right here, wherever they wanted to on their website. They'll know exactly what to do, but those are the recommendations that we would certainly provide them. Again, they would need to copy everything from line 60 to 65 onto their web page so that they can move that code seamlessly. I know that's a little bit to digest there, but with these instructions, we can now not only create our piece, but we can export it and then give our web developer explicit instructions on how to output this animation on their live web page. So with that, we have covered everything. And with that, we are done. Time to start building your very own animations. Congratulations, you have completed step eight and the entire tutorial. You are done. If you have any questions, comments, or critiques, leave them in the comments section below. Otherwise, throw me a like. I'd really appreciate that. Otherwise, subscribe. I'd appreciate that just a little bit more. We'll see you next time. See you.